A term that's pretty common in Microsoft is Windows Update. Windows Update is a Microsoft service that provides updates from Microsoft software. Now you may be most familiar with this from your home computer. You have updates that get installed on your home computer, they use Windows Update to do that. So no different than your home computer, computers at work have to receive the same updates you put on your home computer. Now we're also gonna be able to update products like Microsoft Office, Microsoft Exchange, uh, SharePoint, SQL, all these Microsoft products have updates that they have to periodically install. What's on your device that actually makes this work is an orchestrator. Now that is a term you do not hear very often, but the orchestrator is on your device. So it's on your computer. It's part of the Windows operating system. It scans and downloads updates. So that is the thing that you will never actually see or interact with, but that is basically the agent that connects back to Microsoft, looks at updates that are available, says, I have these updates already installed. I need these updates. And those updates get downloaded and installed on the client operating system. By default, we get all updates through the internet from the updatemicrosoft.com site. What we can do is tell all our devices, clients and servers, they can be configured to get updates from a WSUS server that we have on the network. The reason I wanna do that is one, to limit the amount of bandwidth that's actually used. The other, I wanna be able to control which updates get installed on my clients, which updates get installed on my servers. That's where WSUS comes into play. WSUS, which stands for Windows Software Update Service, it gives us an infrastructure that allows us to manage updates for all our Windows devices. So I'm really, we're talking about laptops, desktops, they're gonna run the same operating system, you know, like Windows 10 now, and we're talking about server operating systems and the other Microsoft products that you would install. So this has no relationship to corporate iPhones or Androids or anything like that, just Microsoft products. What WSUS allows you to do is choose the updates you wanna download. You can test them, you should test them before you deploy them to your production environment. Some environments will deploy them to a handful of virtual machines first, just to make sure they don't destabilize anything or crash. And I've been in other environments that will deploy them to the production environment, but they will only deploy to a small subset of computers just to make sure they don't have an issue. If everything goes well with them, then they deploy just to the broad audience. We can also choose which devices get updates and when they receive them. So that's one way you could have a small group receive these updates first, just to make sure the updates are stable, then you could deploy those uh, to the entire environment. And that also gives me the ability to track the status of updates. So if an update failed to install on your computer for some reason, or you're missing updates, I could go through WSUS and say, I just wanna know which computers are behind on critical updates or security updates, and I could just generate a list of computers. You know, maybe you've been on vacation for a while and your computer is powered off. So you've fallen behind in your updates. Maybe I just wanna be aware of that type of thing. Or if there is a specific update that's of importance to us that fixes some huge security flaw, I just may want to go to WSUS and say, I need to know now, do any computers not have this update installed? If so, we have to remediate it and have it installed like right away or as soon as possible. Now, the way WSUS works and why we need it, let's say you have all your clients. I'm going to say 500. So we have 500 PCs, some servers, just a lot of devices. Well, what happens by default, these 500 computers, like all computers, are actually built to connect to Microsoft Update. So your 500 computers would individually connect to the internet, go through the internet to Microsoft, and they would all download the same update. So let's say today we are downloading two megabytes of updates. If we were doing that, two megs of updates, well, that would be two megs of updates multiplied by your 500 computers. And every time updates were downloaded, that would happen. You would just download the same updates across your WAN link 500 times over. 
and you have very little control. So an option, I can deploy a WSUS. WSUS, we will have connect to and through the internet to Microsoft Update. It will then download updates. When it downloads the updates, it will store the updates locally. My clients, and we'll see the setting for this later, but through group policy, I will define the name of my WSUS server. That group policy object applies out to my clients and my servers in the environment, and it directs them to that WSUS server. So through policy, they now know, don't connect to Microsoft uh, to download these updates. Instead, connect to this WSUS, and it will then download all the updates directly from your WSUS. So the two megs worth of updates that we're deploying, they were downloaded across my internet connection one time, then they were deployed within the environment from the WSUS to my clients. So basically it's nothing but centralizing this, having an update server on the network that you can manage, control. So very advantageous. That's why every environment will use a WSUS or they're gonna use something that does exactly the same thing. 